Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, we've got a great, fun book, and um, it's Little Winkle Book. And it's multiplication. And if you don't have yours, you know you can always get it at Winkle.media. But on Winkle.media, we have our new release. It's Little Winkle and the Scary Storm. Are you scared of storms? If you are, this book's for you. Anyway, go ahead and get your book so that when we read it, you can read it along with us. And it's um, that's our newest release, uh, Little Winkle and the Scary Storm. Now then, get your Little Winkle Moose Multiplication Must Know Facts. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss Story time on Cindy's Corner. All right. It says, nine times two equals seven times seven. How can I know my math facts? Here's our title page. Little Winkle Moose Multiplication. Authors, Tommy and Cindy Coleman. The illustrator... She was 14 years old when she did this book for me. Her name's J.C. Lilly. All right. Learn your math facts with Little Winkle and have them memorized too. Can't wait to learn with you. So you can learn your facts with Little Winkle. Moose multiplication must know facts. That's right. You only have to memorize 15 facts. Well, let's go ahead and get into our story. Little Winkle has learned to multiply, and so can you. Study this book so he can teach you his must-know facts and tricks. Tricks? We all love tricks, don't we? And you will be multiplying when you are through. Record time. Look at that. Record time. Memorize these 15 facts, please, so you can multiply with ease. These are written in rhyme, so you can memorize them in record time. 15 facts. That's all you have to memorize. Remember, this and you'll do just fine. Three times three equals nine. Three times three equals nine. Just think of a dozen eggs on the shelves, and you will know that three times four equals 12. You are a me memorization machine. You know that? Three times six equals 18. You've got this, and it is fun. Come on now. Three times seven equals 21. You can learn this and a whole lot more. Three times eight is 24. Four times four equals 16. You have learned this and it has become routine. Four times four equals 16. Let's learn some more. Four times six equals 24. Don't think too long or you will be late. You already know that four times seven is 28. Don't be blue since you'll never forget. Four times eight is 32. You've got to be quick. Six times six equals 36. 
Remember, this is not hard to do. Six times seven is 42. You're doing great. Six times eight is 48. Use this remind that seven times seven is 49. No trick. Seven times eight is 56. Knowing this fact is not a bore. Eight times eight is 64. Learn the following tricks. We love tricks, don't we? And your multiplication understanding will get a boost. You ready? He's about to boost up. Hero. Only number times zero equals zero. Learn this and be a hero. Only number times one equals itself. Remember this, if nothing else. When we multiply by two, we just count by twos on fingers because we are thinkers. And he's using his antlers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Use your fingers. Just count by fives to multiply. One times five equals five. Two times five equals ten. Use your fingers. He's using his antlers. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Can you use your toes now. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Three times five equals 15. Four times five equals 20. Five, 10, 15, 20. You've got it. That's practice plenty. When your memory of the nines table does not stick, these antlers, or in your case, fingers, tricks. And I have to put it down because he's using his antlers and you use your fingers. So, it says, if you nine times one, you take your first finger down and then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it's nine times two, I'll put it down like this. Put your second finger down, count by 10, 10, and then count by ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, Nine times two equals 18. Nine times three, put your third finger down. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Nine times four, fourth finger down. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Nine times five, put your fifth finger down, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Nine times six, put your sixth finger down, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Isn't that fun? Nine times seven equals 63. Let's see. Put your seventh finger down. Do them with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. Remember, you count by tens until you get to the finger down. And then add the ones. 
Nine times eight is 72. Let's see. Put your eighth finger down. Count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Finger down. 71, 72. Nine times nine equals 81. Put your ninth finger down. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-one. Nine times ten equals ninety. Put the tenth finger down. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. When multiplying by ten, simply adding a zero to the end of the number being multiplied, and you will win. So if it's 10 times 1, you just add the 1 and the 0. 10 times 2 would be 2 and a 0. 3 and a 0, 4 and a 0, 5 and a 0. 2 times 10 equals 20. Or 55 times 10, just add the 0, equals 550. Now that you have learned to multiply, make certain you can add, subtract, and divide, and you can do math with pride and get a blue ribbon like Winkle did. I hope you enjoyed your multiplication facts. If you don't have this book to memorize your multiplication facts, go ahead and get on Winkle.media and get it. It's great for learning your facts. Our second and third graders, some first graders might even learn their multiplication facts. So, my older kids, if you don't know your facts, you need little Winkle to help you. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, send me a note so that I know you know how to multiply. All right? Do some math facts with your friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Most important today, give somebody a hug and tell them you love them. Have a great one.